My name is Chessie Ricca and I'm a graduate student at USF St. Petersburg and I am standing here on Anastasia Island looking out on Fort Matanzas right here in the background. In Menendez's contract with Spanish King Philip II, the purpose for the journey to La Florida was to settle two to three towns, pacify the natives and convert them to Christianity, and to conquer the land. But perhaps religion wasn't as important to the contract as we previously thought. If I break down the contract and look at the items taken to La Florida in 1565, I can begin to see where King Philip II placed the most emphasis in the contract. Eugene Lyon did an excellent job researching Menendez's Florida enterprise. He concluded that the Entrada went from a private venture to a joint military operation after word spread about the French having built Fort Caroline. The purpose of the enterprise was to look for a route that would connect the Atlantic to the Gulf and possibly find another route that would lead to the Indian spice trade in India. And also what Pedro Menendez wanted to do was to clear the Bahama Channel of any incursion so that he would have a safe passageway from his land over here back to Spain. To say that the conversion of the Indians was important to Menendez's enterprise would be inaccurate. While faith was important to most Spaniards, Pedro Menendez used his supposed devotion to the Catholic faith to further his territorial pursuits. Making friends with the Calusa Indians in southwest Florida was more important to Menendez than it was for the Calusa chief, Carlos. All Pedro had to do was marry the Calusa chief's sister, and he would then have created a political alliance that could open up the entire southwest region for trade. Carlos had a similar goal in mind. With the Spanish on his side, he now had a powerful alliance that would give him the upper hand in dealing with other Indian chiefdoms. With his desired ports secure, Menendez was free to chase his economic quests elsewhere throughout the Indies. What made Menendez's enterprise so drastically different than any other conquistador was what was granted to him within his contract. Menendez was given 500 slave licenses free of all duties. He had short-term exemptions from the royal customs duties. He would receive six and two-thirds percent of all royal profits in Florida in perpetuity. He was given the rights to two fisheries. He received the largest land grant given to an autolentado. He could give out land and ranches to his supporters, and most notably, Menendez had the right to put four vessels into the Indies trade and to sail with 10 others in Florida. With all this gifted to him if he completed the king's tasks, why would Menendez care to convert the Indians? He only brought four priests with him. Would that have even been enough? Should there have been more priests brought on the ships if the Spanish were to actually convert the Indians as stated in the contract? If I look at the supply list of items brought on Menendez's ship, I can see that he was more interested in settling Florida than the conversion of the Indians. However, he wasn't able to settle the land with the news of the French's existence. To say that Menendez had to eliminate them because of the religious beliefs makes no sense. If that were true, should he not have disposed of all the local Indians who refused to convert as well? When Menendez's contract is analyzed further, the French massacre makes more sense as a military command as opposed to a religious mandate. If Menendez's trading fleet had to make the route from the Yucatan to Cuba and to various other Indies ports and Florida, the French would pose a threat to the last leg of the shipping lanes required for a safe journey back to Spain. By using the justification that the French were Huguenots, Menendez was able to validate their execution and hide under the wing of the Catholic Church, just so his ships full of silver and other contraband could make it through the Bahama Channel. Paul Hoffman put a lot of emphasis on the importance of the Bahama Channel to Menendez's enterprise. Menendez wanted to create a cruising squadron that would take control of the route and prevent any threat from enemies. There is still the matter of the role of Catholicism in the Florida enterprise. Attempting to control Florida's inhabitants with Christianity was impossible and proved to be deadly on various occasions. Menendez's tactic was to use religion to validate his yearning to rid Florida of its native population. I want to make those who are interested in Pedro Menendez's Enterprise of Florida think about what happened behind the scenes. Why was the contract written the way it was? Take religion out of the equation. 
there are countless ulterior motives in the mind of Pedro Menendez. Because Florida was lawless, corruption was prevalent. Pedro Menendez had a tight grasp on how to manipulate those around him in order to expand his tropical empire. So I want to interview people about Pedro Menendez and see how much they know about them. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind if I interviewed you uh, about Pedro Menendez? Do you know who Pedro Menendez is? Catcher, Houston Astros. This was a bad idea. Nice, buddy. <laughs> 